The second row outer seats can be installed in two positions, standard and wide. With the outer seats in the standard position, you have easier access to the third row seats and better headroom. With them in the wide position, you can install three car seats or provide more hip and shoulder room for passengers. Before we get started, make sure you're familiar with these three levers. Third row access lever or strap, seat back angle adjustment lever, and lock release lever. The third row access lever or strap releases the seat to allow access to the third row seats. The seat back angle adjustment lever adjusts the seat back like this. The lock release lever is used to release the seat from the rear floor strikers when removing the seat or adjusting the seat between the standard and wide positions. Follow these steps every time the second row seat latches are released from the floor strikers. Start by checking the front seat hooks. Make sure they are inserted into the front floor striker. Then pull the seat out to the wide position or push the seat into the standard position until it stops. Do not position the seat in the middle of the front strikers. While lowering the seat, make sure the seat damper does not contact the floor rib and the seat latch is in either the standard position or the wide position on the rear floor striker. If they are not in the proper position, the seat will not latch properly. Next, press down on the rear of the seat to set both rear latches. The latches click as they engage with the rear floor striker. Raise the seat back into an upright position, then firmly rock the seat back and forth, trying to tilt it forward and confirm both inner and outer latches are securely latched. The two outer second row seats are also equipped with a third row seat access feature that is activated by pulling on the third row access lever or strap. But when a child seat is installed in the outer second row seat, it prevents the seat back from folding forward, which limits access to the third row. Some owners use the seat lock release lever to tip the entire seat forward with the child seat installed to gain access to the third row. But American Honda does not recommend using this method to access the third row seats. When the second row outer seat is tipped forward, the seat may slide into the area between the standard and wide positions that prevents the seats from latching. Therefore, using this method of access increases the risk of having an unsecured second row outer seat. If, despite the risks, you choose to tip the entire second row seat forward to access the third row, make sure the seat is in the standard or wide position when lowering and latching the seat. Make sure the seat is latched by rocking the seat back and forth, trying to tilt it forward. And confirm both the inner and outer latches are locked and the front seat hooks are under the front strikers.